What if I told you? The real winner between the Dassault Rafale and the F-16 isn't determined by speed, missile range, or even radar, but by a hidden combat gap almost no one talks about one that changes the outcome of every engagement before the first missile is even fired. Tonight, we dive directly into the skies, into a duel that has shaped doctrines, intimidated nations, and rewritten the rules of modern air combat. And the truth is nothing like what you expect. Two fighters, two philosophies. The Rafale, a multi-role predator built to dominate every layer of aerial warfare. Versus the F-16 Fighting Falcon, a legendary lightweight brawler agile, battle-tested and deployed by more air forces than any modern jet in history. But behind the glamour and the statistics lies a deeper story. A story where one jet silently controls the battlefield, while the other relies on pure pilot skill and tactical aggression just to keep up. To understand this hidden gap, we must first see how each jet thinks, detects and reacts. The Rafale carries Spectra, an electronic warfare suite so advanced it can jam, spoof and blind enemy missiles, sometimes even without the pilot noticing. Meanwhile, the F-16, depending on variant, uses a mix of older and upgraded avionics, formidable but not always seamless. Rafale's integrated architecture acts like a digital brain making decisions faster than human reaction time. The F-16, still deadly, but more manual. The pilot must dance between controls, radar cues, and countermeasures. The conflict truly begins when both fighters lock radars. The Rafale wields the RBE-2 ASA, scanning wide angles, tracking multiple threats, and feeding real-time data into every weapon system. The F-16's radar varies, some ESA, some not. In older fleets, this creates a critical delay, giving the Rafale a split-second advantage. In a real dogfight, a split-second doesn't just matter. It decides survival. This is where the power gap widens. The Rafale fires earlier, sees earlier, reacts earlier. And in beyond visual range combat, earlier is everything. Because the F-16 has a hidden strength, one that no avionic system can fully counter. Its power-to-weight ratio, especially on newer variants, makes it brutally agile at medium altitude. While the Rafale shines with electronic dominance, the F-16 compensates with raw maneuverability, tight turns, and high-G survivability. In close combat, the Falcon becomes unpredictable, a knife fighter inside a swirling storm. Pilots often say, if the fight gets close, don't underestimate a Falcon, it bites. The Rafale was designed to survive the most complex electronic battle spaces on Earth. It can track multiple targets, jam incoming threats, coordinate with drones, engage air to air, air to ground, and maritime missions in a single sortie. The F-16, even in its most modernized forms, remains mission-focused, but not mission-dominant. It excels in the role it is assigned. The Rafale adapts to any role. In real time, this versatility forms the true gap. The Rafale battles the entire sky. The F-16 battles the target in front of it. So who truly wins? The Rafale commands the sky with intelligence, adaptability, and electronic superiority. The F-16 counters with grit, precision maneuvering, and decades of pilot-honed combat doctrine. In a perfect scenario, Rafale dominates. But in a chaotic sky, the F-16 still hits above its weight class harder than anyone expects. The real answer is not about which jet is better, but which jet controls the battlefield before the fight even begins. If you want the continuation full breakdowns, cockpit comparisons, missile simulations, and more hidden combat gaps, just tell me. Because the sky is full of secrets, and we've only revealed the first one tonight.